Hello everyone, Susan Campfield here with cstampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. It's a mess. It's okay. We're going to make it messier. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining me tonight. We're going to be creating a card together. I don't know what it's going to look like. I'm hoping you'll help me design it. So let's have some fun. Let's do a little relaxing and let's create together. I am a messy crafter. I'm going to warn you just straight up. I want to lose stuff. And when I lose it, when I find it again, we all say found it and we take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what is in your cup tonight. I have my favorite ice water in mine. You like to stay hard. You have to stay hydrated if you're going to craft, right? <laughs> so glad that you're here with me. Um, so much going on. Oh my goodness. So um, the retired list is out. Um, the there's a portion of those things that will be going on sale the sale does not start until april 9th however uh, a lot of the things are already selling out so my caution to you is don't wait if you really want it so um crafternoon was on saturday if you weren't able to join me i hope you can catch the replay i will show you some of the cards tonight real quick um, because we might use one of those papers i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do we're just we're just making it up as we go <laughs> drinking soda drinking coffee sparkling water okay excellent um and then craftoon there's gonna be a blog post that's gonna go up and opportunity to get a tutorial if you got the packet in the mail to make the cards with me um you'll be getting that tutorial for free and then the card the pictures of the cards will be on my blog so if you haven't subscribed to my blog uh, where is that Susan right here go to suestampfield.com click on subscribe you can choose either to get free project sheets or the blog uh, subscription so you when a, there's a new blog post you'll get it in your inbox or you can get both whichever works for you so let's go ahead and dive right in shout out to my moderator um, Jen <laughs> Mary Nuss gosh I had a flashback there hi Mary how are you poor Mary as she got the measurements very short notice tonight and i already thought of a product that i forgot to give you mary so mm, so sorry fortunately she's really good at thinking on the fly so <laughs> there's something sticky on my desk don't you hate that oh so annoying all right let's get let's dive right down here to my desk and yeah there's something sticky right there i got clearly got a little carried away so i've got my stamp and mist cleaner here and i'm just gonna spritz it on there and grab a little cloth here and make it not be sticky anymore because you know that's not good for cards to be sticking all right so um on saturday we did the um the crafternoon full we made this card together this is the double stack do you see the double stack there display card it stands for display this inside one tucks right in here and the other covers it up this was a modification of a uh, Craftoon fold I did on the very first Craftoon I ever did a couple years ago. Let's see, that would have been January of 20. Wait, what year are we? 24, 22. January of 22. Anyway, um, but it just had this front panel. It didn't have the inside one. So we're just adding a little extra double trouble, double fun on um, the fun fold. So this is the one I am working so hard on the tutorial, you guys. I had hoped to have it done yesterday, but yeah, I'm super picky and I like step-by-step -step photos. Um, now this particular one, it's the same fold here. And this one has the beautiful, can you see it there if I hold it just right? This patterned vellum right here, it's um, it's on the retired list. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a specialty vellum. Um, um, and uh, a specialty designer series paper called Vellum Basics. And it has not sold out yet, as far as I can tell. I just was on there just now. There's three patterns. We use the leaves and the polka dots for this. And of course, our beautiful painted lavender um, stamp set. This one was inspired by a swap I got. Um, oh gosh, I'm not gonna be able to dig it out right now. Oh, and I'm blanking out on her name. It's um, it's on the video. If you go watch the video, the Crafty Noon video, I, I do give her a shout out there. So um, this one with, of course, the beautiful Magnolia. This is the Poetic Expressions paper. It is also retiring. It's in the mini catalog. Um, the Magnolia Mood uh, Bundle is part of the online exclusives. And... Um, Oh, then we got into some sneak peeks with we played with some of the new in well all of the new in colors pretty in pink uh peach pie okay you guys help me out here oh, 
<gasps> I'm blanking out. Why, uh, why am I blanking out? Um, 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 oh, Susan, come on. <laughs> this is Summer Splash. This is um, Shy Shamrock. And this um, has peas in it. <laughs> Pretty and pink. Peach pie. Why am I blanking out? Petunia pop. Thank you so much. Yes, petunia pop. Um, <laughs> this one I did in the pretty and pink. Um, again, it's the same fun fold. And then here it is. In, I had to do it in all of them, right? I mean, you know, had to do it. Peach pie. Petunia pop, which I blanked out on, which is one of my favorites. And I have a dog trying to open my door here. Um, Summer splash and shy shamrock and then the last one was another sneak peek this is the country birdhouse with the country wood paper all of these sneak peek products are going to be available in the um uh, new catalog that comes out on May 1st. Demonstrators could pre-order these products, uh, some of these products starting today. Not everything from the catalog is available to us for pre-order because it's a lot of stuff and they already have two catalogs going um, and not everything is in stock in time. So, but there's all, that's where all these, all these fun things are available. So let's go ahead and you enjoy, oh good, you enjoyed, you thought it was a fun card to make. Yay! So glad you enjoyed it. All right, tonight we are going to do, uh, we're going to lose stuff. Hang on. <laughs> All right, I tucked that away. Okay, let's, um, let's dive right in. So we're going to use a set that's retiring and I'm so sad and I've lost it. Oh, Susan, seriously. I got the dice. Oh my gosh. You guys, how embarrassing is that? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Um, ah, okay. Anyone know what I did with it? Because <laughs> I don't. I, it was in my hand literally two seconds ago. Oh, boy. We're going to be drinking a lot tonight. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Susan, what did you do with it? Um... These are the things I played with last time. Oh, shoot, you guys. Where is it? All right, hang on. All right, we're just going to forge ahead. Dang. I want the greeting from the set. Um, the set is called Quiet Meadow. These are the uh, meadow dies. I literally had it in my hand. Oh, my goodness. This is the story of my life, you guys. This is story of my life. Okay, don't let me forget to show the measurements tonight when we're done. And don't let me forget, I got a, um, I got a bunch more happy mail that I want to share with you if I remember at the end. So <laughs> clearly it could be dicey at this point. Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously, it must have fallen, disappeared, vanished, ran away with something. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. We're going to keep going. We're just going to, we're going to make do. Oh my gosh. All right. It's okay. It's all good. <gasps> deep breath, deep breath. Okay. I have a question for you folks. Uh, um, okay. The stamp is under something. I clearly, right. I'm trying to think what I had that I put away or covered up or I wouldn't have put it away. Right. I wouldn't have put it on the shelf. I mean, I literally had it in my hand because I, emailed it to Mary. No, it's not on the shelf. Oh, Susan. Anyway, it's a super awesome set that we don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, I can't make it up. Seriously. Okay. 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 It's okay. We're punting. We're going to go forward. Charge. Uh, we have some beautiful dies to work with. These dies are retiring. Um, this, um, die right here fits, uh, thinking of you. What I like about the quiet meta stamp set that is currently MIA, um, is that it's, you know, I didn't put it with the card today. No, no, no. Um, it has a thinking of you and then a sympathy sentiment for inside. As we all know, I'm still digging. <laughs> As we all know, thinking of you can be um, anything, right? It's a nice, versatile um, uh, stamp. Now I'm all flustered. All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> We're going to start cutting paper because I got a paper trimmer here. <laughs> I've got paper and I can do that much. 
Oh gosh. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Is it under the cards you showed us? No, but that's a good thought. And I thought maybe it was under the cleanup pad because I had that and I had something on top of the cleanup pad. What was on top of the cleanup pad? Um, catalog? No. Ugh. All right, it's it's all good. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. I did want to let you guys know, by the way. Um, some of you've been waiting for the um, happy little things dies to come back in stock. They are now back in stock. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our card here. So five and a half by eight and a half, as you might imagine, kind of a standard size here, and. <laughs> Uh, we're going to score that at four and a quarter. Just got my handy dandy paper trimmer here. You guys are, uh, yeah, it'll show up, right? Or, or it won't and we'll work around it. It's all good. All right. So I've got my paper score here. All right, let's go ahead and cut some cardstock. But first I need you guys to help me to figure out which pattern of designer paper we're going to use on this card or which color, I guess I should say. So I am thinking either Lost Lagoon. Um, this is the Poetic Expressions Designer Series paper, by the way. It's the same paper that I used for that beautiful Magnolia card from, um, yeah, it looked by the computer, Pamela, but good idea. I'm trying to retrace my steps and my steps have been everywhere, I guess. Um, this is the boho blue pattern. So are we going boho blue or are we going Lost Lagoon? Let me know in the comments. Why will you not come up? There we go. Boho blue or Lost Lagoon? Let me know in the comments which direction we want to go tonight. And I will get some cardstock cut. Once you tell me which direction we're going, I've got my Lost Lagoon and boho at the ready. Oh, it's a tie so far. We got two for Boho. We got two. Oh, Boho has now leaped into the lead. It's like calling a horse race here. <laughs> Did you show us the card yet? No, card's top secret. <laughs> um, Lost Lagoon, Boho, Boho, Lost Lagoon. Boy, it's pretty tied, you guys. <laughs> you want Lost Lagoon because your, uh, um, your uh, blue is almost gone? Okay, Boho, Blue. Lost again. All right. Um, it's a dead heat. I tell you what, we're going to go. We're going to go with. I'm just thinking what I want to do here. Let's go. Let's go Lost Lagoon. No, let's go Boho. Flip a coin, right? Yeah. I'm just seeing the last, the last ones are Boho. So I'm going to go Boho. Oh, but now Patricia says Lost Lagoon. I'll tell you what, I will do a Lost Lagoon and post it on the Sue Stanfield Facebook group. Okay, deal. We'll go, uh, we'll go Boho Blue because oh, Boho Blue is, well, they're both awesome colors, aren't they? This makes a beautiful sympathy card, as does this. So, all right, we're going to go with the Poetic Expressions. We're going to use some Boho Blue. Now, also in this pack, there is um, some other colors. There's some uh, um, Moody Moth. And uh, we've got some darker mossy uh, meadow patterns there. And um, yeah, really, really pretty paper. This one's really pretty as well. But we're going to go with Boho. <sighs> okay, you guys, I'm having a hot flash from stress of not being able to find my skin set. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Okay, um, we're going to cut this at, uh, this is the layer for the front of our card. And it is three by four and a quarter. So oh, what, 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 what? This is already four and a quarter. How convenient is that? So I just need to cut it one spot at three. All right, so we've got our boho blue. This panel is gonna go on the front of our card, but we're gonna put some stuff on that panel. So let's think about that. Um, I'm having a hot flash. Ooh, need to drink my water. I need to cut some other pieces. We're going to cut our designer paper. And we've got some bubble bath in here too. Um, I haven't decided which pattern, which pattern we're going to use yet. So I'm going to cut both and then have you all help me decide which one we're using. 
So the uh, designer series paper for this card is four by three and three quarters. I call this card the skinny bits card because it is great for using up little skinny extra bits of cardstock that you've got laying around. And you know what? I just cut it by four because I was going to cut it this way. I still could. Just looking at the pattern to decide which way I want to go. I'll, I'll just use, I'll do this. <laughs> oh, gracious. Um, I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, I had a dog who was sick um, all night and he just wanted to be outside all night long, which meant I had to stand there. <laughs> and uh, be at the ready if he wanted to come back in. And I had to go out and get him and put his coat on him because he was out there forever. Anyway, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So I am a little bit, uh, a little punchy today, a little tired. All right, we're gonna go three quarters of an inch here. I, I, I We only need one for the card, but I can't decide right now which pattern I want. So I'm gonna cut them both and we'll, we'll decide it together, okay? And then we need to do some embossing, hooray. So we're going to grab some basic white. Why am I getting a whole new sheet? I had a half a sheet left over from this. Let's use that. It is here. I know it's, aha, found it. It's under the boho blue. Take a sip, everyone. We found something. Hallelujah. All right. So we are going to cut this. Um, we need two pieces. The first one is one and a quarter by four. And the second one is um, a half inch by four. This one's really skinny. It's a skinny mini. All right, half inch by four. I hope everybody had a good Easter weekend. Go. All right, we've got that piece cut, and I think that's all I need for now. Uh, if I find my stamp set, we'll need to cut it. We'll need to do a greeting. So let's let's go ahead and just cut a scrap to die cut our greeting. And see, I'm thinking positively there, optimistic thinking. Because guess what? I have other stamps. If I can't find it, I know that's shocking, right? <laughs> All right, let's do some embossing. So I'm going to move our paper out of the way here, and we're going to emboss this cardstock. And let's grab it. Oh, he's doing much better now, but thank you for your kind wishes for my pooch. Not sure what he got into, but uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty. All right, so we have a... I love this embossing folder and it is retiring. It is called Quatrefoil Tile. You can't see it. Let's put this behind it. Does that help? No, not really. It's gorgeous. You'll see it after we emboss, right? So it's a standard embossing folder. It's not a 3D, uh, but it does give a nice deep image, which is what I like about it. So I'm going to lay my, um, my basic white cardstock in here, those two pieces that we cut. One was a half inch by four. The other was one and a quarter by four. And I just need the regular plate on top. Oh, I got a brand new plate out just for you guys. Because <laughs> my other one was pretty bad shape. So you guys deserve a new plate. Oh, wait, we got a problem here. Okay, so if that ever happens, you start to crank through and it's not going easily, um, stop because there might be a problem with your sandwich. And indeed, there is. I have the um, number two piece in here, which is what you use for die cutting. I'm embossing. This is what I want right here. Let's just try that again. Oh, is Janine uh, cracking jokes again? <laughs> I missed it. I missed it, Janine. Oops. <laughs> Janine said we couldn't use Lost Lagoon on this card because we already lost too many other things. <laughs> That's a good one to me. That's a keeper. All right, let's take a look here. We got our embossed. So this is the quatrefoil tile embossing folder. And it is going to be retiring, sadly, but it is beautiful. We're gonna use it for our card here. All right, so now 
Now we have some important decisions to make. I'm going to set this aside for half a second while we make our important decisions. Okay, so our card is going to go together like this. I'm going to take my boho blue cardstock and I've got my um, embossed pieces. Those are going to go right on here. And then we're going to put a piece of designer paper between the two. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this down. Oh my gosh, I need to get rid of that comment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's over here. Let's remove that. You guys can't even see. What the heck? Okay. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> oh, Jody. Jody's catching me live. I don't know, Jody. It's pretty wild tonight. I hope you got some wine in your hand. All right. So we have our two options of designer paper. Do we want to use this one? Oh, my gosh. That's so gorgeous. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Or do we want to use this one? A little more subtle. Let me know if, uh, what do I want to call this? This is one and this is two. There we go. <laughs> That's an easy, easy solution, right? Number one or number two, let me know which one we are using. And while you're voting on that one, two, I'm going to stick these guys down, which would require some adhesive. Aha, found it. It was over here. All right, so I'm seeing lots of ones. Yeah, I, I, I think we gotta go one. I think I agree with you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stick this on. A little tiny half inch piece. So like I said, this is a great card for using up scraps. Like these are, these are most likely pieces that if you're messy like me are floating around on your craft table. If you're a neat and tidy person, they're in your scrap drawer. All right, let's go with uh, number one right here. Janine says number one with an explanation mark. All right, I agree. All right, here's number one right here. Reminds me of like a really gorgeous Victorian wallpaper or something. So pretty. Okay. Well, we're off to the races. We've got a good start to our card. I am going to just uh, give this, it's, do you see how it's a little bit bouncy there? I want to take a bone folder and see if I can get this to flatten up and fly right here. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> bone folder doesn't want to go back in the box. It just wants to play. All right, we're going to pop. Oh. I'm going to put it on the right. Why? Because my other one's like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pop this up with dimensionals. And let me find them. Here they are. Found them. Take a sip, everyone. I'm going to take, I'm going to join you. Mm. Yay for ice water. And yay for my new water bottle, which was a gift from my team member, Carol Baumgartner. I tell you, they spoil me, you guys. I'm so fortunate. Uh, many of my team members uh, joined because they uh, love the products. They love uh, the community that we have, the early purchase opportunities, like what's going on today. And some of them love the discount. So uh, lots of great reasons. We'd love to have you join our Stampin' Up! family. Uh, in fact, if you join in April, then you get to uh, get some of the new stuff in your starter kit if you so choose. You get uh, $125 in pride for $99. And you can pick from the new stuff or the existing stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stick this down. I feel like I want more. I'm in a I'm in a in a dimensionally mood tonight. Is that a word? Dimensional? Yeah. Well, it is now. <laughs> oh gosh, it's sticking to me. Okay. Oh, the community is awesome. The demonstrator community is so warm and welcoming and wonderful. It's um because we all love what we do. We we love paper crafting and we love to share and swap and all the things. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stick this on here like so. All right, so that is raised up a bit and this one got voted off the island. Okay, but now, <laughs> now is where I really wish I had my stamp set. Um, we're going to punt, so we're going to add a butterfly <laughs> to our card here. Uh, because we can. Uh, these dies are awesome and they uh, don't necessarily go with, I mean, they match the stamp set, but not really. They coordinate with it, um, but they're all like uh, standalone dies, I'm going to say. So we're going to grab this big 
butterfly dimensionally is a word, but, it's, but it doesn't mean what I think it means. Okay, well, I will take your word for that, Janine. All right, so we got a little butterfly over here. I think, let's see what he would look like um, if we die cut him out of this uh, designer paper that we didn't use. Let's give it a go. Let's bring that die cutting machine right back in. Let's see if I can locate the right pieces. Oh, I did. Okay, excellent. It's a miracle. We've got uh, one, two, and three. We're ready to do some die cutting here. So I'm going to pop this in. And I think I'll lay my butterfly so that it, the middle of the butterfly is right on that stitching. Okay, I'm, I shouldn't waste the paper that much, should I? Let's go over here. Maybe it will fit right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, you guys can't see. Sorry, I was off. <laughs> <laughs> I was off the camera. Oh, I have done this <laughs> before. You may not think so if you're watching tonight. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's crank this through. Let's move that paper. Okay. All right. Ah, I don't know where that stamp set is. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm just going to die cut the this banner. So I've got the same dies. These are the meadow dies. They are retiring. It's got this adorable little tag. Um, and there is a small stamp. I think it says love maybe in the quiet meadow stamp set that has gone walk, walk about. <laughs> we don't know. It's MIA right now. I had it in my hands before the video started and poof, it's gone. Uh, let me grab. We had a scrap for this. I cut, you all saw me cut a scrap. No, didn't I? Did I not? Huh. Well, it's gone now. It's okay. We got more scraps. No worries there. Oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> all right. We're going to cut this uh, banner label here. All right. And we're going to go ahead and send this through. Thank you for sharing the video, Joan. <laughs> I'm not sure you're doing anyone any favors. Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> oh, you all are such patient people. I appreciate you. All right. So we have um, our banner right here. I'm just poking out these little extra bits because it's got that super cute scallop. Um, so that's going to go at the top here, and we're going to find some words <laughs> that will go on there because um, <clears throat> we don't know where the stamp set is. Ah, all right, so let's see what our butterfly. I'm excited. I want to see what it looks like. What do you think, guys? Let's go ahead. Good evening, Patsy. It is a party tonight. All right. Oh, look how cute. All right. Sorry, it's my camera's wanting to be blurry. Um, so we've got a little butterfly. Now, butterflies really need to have wings that fly, right? So I'm going to just give him a little bend right there. And the butterfly is going to go right over here and just be kind of flying in from the side there. And all right, we're going to finish out our card. And then I've got a bunch of cards to show you and a cute little mini scrapbook that one of my team members made for me. Like I said, they spoil me, you guys. They spoil me. They send me cards. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to put this on here. No, we're not. This goes down here. It's one of those nice big die sets. It barely fits on my thing. I love it. So many options. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Back to our card. We've got our cute little butterfly flying in here. This um, was going to say thinking of you. <clears throat> um, I want to give it one more little look here. Retracing my steps. You know I'm going to find it the second the video ends, right? All right. I'm looking uh, for another stamp here. I'm crawling around on my floor, seeing what else would fit in here. Since uh, the Quiet Meadow stamp set is missing at the present moment, which is driving me crazy. Okay. Um, so, seriously. Okay. Uh, all right, we're going to find another stamp that fits in here. So probably want to go with a photopolymer stamp set. And I would love anyone to have any suggestions. Any, I'm welcome, uh, open to suggestions other than Quiet Meadow. So let's see. 
Um, and if we if we prefer to use a cling mount stamp set, that's okay. I can always um, cut again. I do have heartfelt hexagon, but I don't think the sympathy one. I think it's too big to fit. Yep. Now, when you cut these, you can save the the piece. Uh, the frame to kind of hold up to your stamp sets to find one that will fit. That, that one would almost fit, wouldn't it? Um, let's see. On the floors. <laughs> yeah, I tried that. Um, holding you close. Now, sometimes the stamps on the front are bigger on the inside. So you got to be a little careful and do use the inside image. Um, that's so, so these would work. I really would prefer it thinking of you though. So I'm going to keep looking. Any suggestions for me? Shout it out in the comments. Go to greetings. Oh, that's a good one. Um, it's not photopolymer, is it? It's clean mouth, but that's okay. That's a nice one. Oh, that is a good one because it's got thinking of you. Good call, Arlene. Um, go to greetings. Stacy doubles down on that. All right, let's see um, if this thinking of you one would fit it would fit beautifully. All right, let's do it. You guys are so smart. All right, Enduring Beauty back on the shelf and we're gonna use our go-to greetings. Of course you could use happy, you can see, can you see how stained that is? I've used it. I've got ink on the back of it somehow. Not sure how that happened, but I've used this one a ton. I like that it's got um, your main ones and it's got it each, triple. So we've got a huge happy birthday, a medium happy birthday, and a small happy birthday in three different fonts. Same with thinking of you, same with thank you. Um, and then we also have just a note and hello. Um, actually, just a note is in all three. It's the hello that's the kind of bonus one. All right, we're going to grab, uh, as you might imagine, our boho blue ink pad. And because things are going so well for me tonight... <laughs> That was a joke. I'm going to try and stamp this on uh, a piece that's already die cut, which is really dangerous. It's much easier to stamp it first and then die cut it, but it's not how we did things tonight. So that's not too bad. I can live with that. It just barely fits the little loopy gun on, on each end. Just go off. It, it fits perfect. All right. So we're going to set that aside and... Let's bring this back in and attach our greeting right here. And we're going to pop on our butterfly and we'll probably add a little embellishment. So super simple card, but you can see um, how you would uh, use any designer paper and uh, embossing folder combo and any little dies and things. Um, I have done this fold a number of ways. Um, this is one of them. Uh, these are the retired gnomes. Um, this is a Christmas card, obviously, but you can see there's, it's the same layout, but you can do it so many different ways, right? So um, really, really great card layout and a great way to use up those scraps. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab... Yeah, it's pretty much a miracle I got that straight because <laughs> things are not going my way tonight. Okay, but we're, you know what? We're doing great, aren't we? We're doing fine. I got my friends here with me and you guys are helping me through. So appreciative of you all. All right. Let's stick this on and pop this right in here. All right, so we've got that on there. And then I'm going to use a glue dot on our little um, butterfly here. And I'm going to add some embellishments on there because a butterfly just begs for embellishments. <laughs> um, you could put them down the center of the butterfly or you can um, put it around. I can't even get a glue dot off the paper. Oh, got it. Perseverance, right? All right, so we folded that butterfly so it looks like he's flying just a bit. And we're going to just pop him right on there. How's that look? And then we're going to put some something down the middle there. We've got a couple options. Let me show you your choices here. Going to the fun drawer. All right, so we could use the um, adhesive back solid gems. We could use the boho blue ones. Or 
we could use one of my favorites, the pearls, the iridescent pearls, or let's see what else would be cute. We could possibly use the soon to be retired iridescent rhinestones or the regular rhinestones. Oh my gosh, so many choices here. All right, hang on, hold the phone. All right, I'm going to give you a boatload of choices, you guys. All right, we've got one is the blue ones, two is the pearls, three is the iridescent rhinestones, and four is the regular ones. One, two, three, or four. Let me know. I'm seeing, already seeing some votes for number two, which is the pearls. Pearls, pearls, pearls. All right. Well, we've got, we got a vote for boho here, but it looks like the pearls are in the lead. We've got several votes for the boho. So let's go ahead and pop some pearls on here. I do think it'll look nice with the white. And there's something about the iridescent pearls that they have a little bit of a blue sheen to them. Um, so they do look really nice on blue. I've been in a boho blue mood lately, I guess. Um, I, their card on Saturday night was also in boho blue. All right, there's one, two, I think I should be, should I use the big ones or the little ones? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm using the bigger ones, and I'm wondering if I should use the little ones. Yeah, I want to use, uh, whoops, <laughs> they just stuck together. I'm going to do a big one in the middle and a little one above it and a little one below it. How about that? There we go. All right, now if you don't want your butterfly to flatten out, a little trick you can do is, boho blue is such a cool, I agree with you. Uh, it's such a pretty color. Um, you could put a mini dimensional under each wing so that it doesn't completely flatten when it goes out in the mail. Um, if you wanted to make sure it was staying upright. Um, I'm going to make this a sympathy card, actually. Um, let's grab our heartfelt hexagon. I am not sure. I think this punch is still out of stock, I believe. There's my sympathy. This one says... Um, so this one has a uh, birthday with sympathy, uh, sending you lots of love and hugs, which is, would be really nice. Okay, let me know. Which one should we use? Hope your day is filled with joy and Mr. and Mrs. Should we use, and then for you, we could put the for you on there too. Um, should I use uh, the sympathy or the sending you lots of love, love and hugs? Which ones should we go with? They would both be nice, wouldn't they? Let me know in the comments if we want sympathy or love inside, love and hugs is kind of the same thing, I guess. Just gonna throw those pearls away. <laughs> um, it's pretty much a tie so far. Oh, Love and Hugs has gone into the lead. All right, so maybe Love and Hugs is uh, the perfect one. I, I know a friend that I could send this to that uh, would be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and pop this on. All right, now grab our boho blue ink pad and put this on the inside. You know what? I might be changing my mind about the pearls. And I'll tell you why. They, um, they're blending in a lot. And I'm wondering if maybe I wouldn't be better off with rhinestones. I should have a cush, uh, the stamp and pierce mat under this to get a better image, but oh yeah, that's not too bad. Sending you lots of love and hugs. All right. Oh, and I just put my finger in the ink pad. Perfect, Sue. <laughs> I tell ya, never a dull moment around here. All right, I'm just gonna put a little stamp and mist on this cloth. <laughs> and get the ink off my finger. All right, we're gonna go ahead and show the measurements here. I just wanna see what uh, rainstones would look like. Hang on. All right. Now I think pearls are staying. The iridescent rhinestones are retiring. I do know that. Very sad about that. I'll go ahead and just pull these off here. 
and try a little bit more sparkle. Now the fun thing with the, um, the rhinestones is you can actually custom color. And it looks like I actually did custom color these in a blue. I don't know if it's boho blue. It sure looks like boho blue. Um, so this is how you do that. So, hey, I think we might go that road. Why not? I think it's meant to be, right? I'm just uh, looking for the boho blue Stampin' Blends. Oh, that's light night of navy. That's not what I want. How about this one? Boho blue. Okay, this is the light boho, boho blue. I might need the dark one. Let's try it with the light first. So you just take the uh, Stampin' Blends. These are alcohol markers, so they are permanent. And you just rub the color right on the rhinestone. Um, this is the light, which I think is too light. I'm going to use the dark because rhinestones are sort of see-through. Um, usually the darker color is going to give you the more accurate um, match to what you want. So let me hold that up and let's see if you can. I know I'm kind of far away. Can you see how they're blue now? Th uh, three of them already were and I just colored these two blue. So let's try that. And um. Let's see, I'm going to do three small ones right down the middle of our butterfly here. And this way you can custom color them in whatever Stampin' Blend color you, colors you have. Come on, you. <laughs> Chasing it all over the paper. There we go. So if you want in-color rhinestones and you get the in-color blends, you can match your own. So there we have our little, yeah, I kind of like, it just shows up a little bit better. The pearls were pretty, but they kind of disappeared on this paper. So this one has, again, personal choice, right? None of them look bad. And uh, my butterfly keeps wanting to flatten out. So I am going to add a couple little dimensionals, mini dimensionals behind this. And I'll put the measurements up for you. And then I'm going to show you some fun happy mail that I got. And a special uh, mini scrapbook that I got from one of my team members. All right, I'm just going to pop that there. <laughs> this would have been so much easier had I done it ahead of time. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. My uh, rhinestones ran amok. So when you stick on anything with a that's um, self-adhesive that has a little glue dot on it, once you put them in place, it's a good idea to give them a press to just kind of set them. And I didn't do that. So there we go. All right. There is our thinking of you card. And of course, if you have a little extra scrap of um, designer paper, you can put that on the inside for a little uh, extra extra. All right. So we're going to set this aside. And no, we're not. We're going to show dimensions. So do not forget. All right, there we go. I want to take a screenshot. This is a, a really good card layout to keep in your arsenal for those times. Well, I was going to say for those times when you have scraps, but okay, let's face it, that's all the time <laughs> uh, for the time when you're looking for a card that will use up scraps. How about that? And there you go. If you want to take the screenshot there. And then let's move on here to, <clears throat> and I just hit the microphone with my head. Excellent. Still looking for that stamp set. You know, the second I end this video, it's going to show up, right? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start with the book um, before I get to the happy mail. So uh, my team member, Carol Rosengren, brought this over for my birthday. This is a sneak peek of some new products. These are the, um, this is the Thoughtful Journey designer paper. I've got, somehow I've got a steel cap stuck in there. Ah, oh, it's the story of my life. Um, okay, so the card is one of our past um, Crafternoon cards, actually. This is a pretty pleats fun fold card that Carol designed. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Um, I, I know that sweet name is Thoughtful Journey, and I apologize, I don't know the um, the dies and stamps yet, uh, uh, but beautiful card from Carol. And then she gave me this amazing gift. <laughs> so um, it is a mini scrapbook that she made um, at OnStage, which is a Stampin' Up! convention. The last presentation was by three of our um, uh, 
uh, corporate uh, leaders and they, um, two men and one woman, and uh, they created this, showed us how to make this album, even though the guys don't normally stamp. So our finance guy and our um, IT guy. <laughs> so, um, and they were stamping with Jill, who's the VP of marketing. So three of our vice presidents. Um, so Carol uh, made the same scrapbook here and let me show you what's inside. So um, she has, this was the pool at our hotel. It was in the shape of the state of Texas. It's a lazy river pool on the top of the Marriott Marquis. Um, and then here's Welcome to Houston, which was at the, uh, I think by the convention center there maybe. And then uh, my uh, team member, Linda Larson, um, standing by the onstage sign. And here is us in the lazy river pool with some pina coladas. <laughs> That's my friend Missy from uh, New York and my uh, team member, Linda. And um, just some, she did some journaling here with some memories of our time. So these pages are made with the paper just folded in half. So, so special. Um, so this with the three of us um, got to go out for dinner. Um, Linda and Carol are two of my um, Silver Elite leaders. Um, and so I was able to go out with quite a few of my Silver Elite and above leaders uh, during convention, which was awesome. Carol got this, um, it was a kid's drink that has cotton candy on the top. <laughs> like, talk about sugar. Um, and it was really, really cool looking, though. Blue Razzleberry, it was called. So uh, cotton candy drink. Uh, it had a dinosaur on top. <laughs> so super fun. And uh, we had so much fun. Um, Stampin' Up! is really good at recognizing our accomplishments. Um, oops, I think this just got moved a little bit. Um, my team member, Carol, who... Um, uh, gave me this book. She's right there. Um, she marched for her 25 year anniversary and um, I got to march for being 29 um, in the United States with my accomplishments, which is really awesome. And then we went, they uh, went out for dinner here. There's a bunch of my other team members. I was not with them that night. Here's a bunch of us sitting at the uh, convention uh, looking at the brand new catalog that we just received. <laughs> And um, I got to march again for earning the uh, Mexico incentive trip. Uh, uh, we were told to strut our stuff. And so here's my downline, Rachel Tussman and my friend, Julie DiMatteo, acting like models on the runway. And here I am being very silly with Sharon Armstrong and Heidi Collins um, as we marched for earning that trip. Um, my team member, Rachel Tessman, one of our top performers this year. She's amazing. Um, and this is her March. And then Prize Patrol, we get free gifts, uh, free prizes um, at Onstage. This one was an all attendee giveaway. Here's a bunch of my wonderful team members and uh, April and Carol there with their um, the paper they earned. Uh, we had a dance party um, one night and I love to dance, uh, especially with my friend Missy. We do this every time there's a stamp up event and they have a DJ for us and our sweet friend uh, Vitran, who's also in my team. And oh my goodness, um, even more, I got to march just a whole bunch more times for different things that I earned. Um, my 900,000 in sales, career sales that I earned last year. And you know what comes after 900, you guys? A million. That's what I'm working towards. Um, and then uh, I roomed with Rachel Tessman, here Rachel and I are, and with uh, B Tran. And uh, here's one of our, a uh, couple of our presenters at on stage. Uh, Michelle Sturgeon and Michael Deal. And here we are at lunch, just having fun. And then we had a team party at the end. And here we all together. These are all of our leaders and then the whole group um, that was at on stage. So super fun memory from Carol. I will cherish this. What a cool, cool gift. And let's look at cards. All right, happy mail. Happy mail alert. <laughs> Anyone still hanging on here or am I just by myself? Oh, good. Some of you are still here. Awesome. All right. So this first card is a beautiful Easter card from my team member, Michelle Carlson, with the Easter Lily set. Sadly, the Easter Lily uh, has the dies have sold out, um, as has, so the bundle's not available. I don't know if the stamp set's still available or not, but it is beautiful. Um, so thank you, Michelle. I absolutely love it. I love lots of white space. And this one is just striking that simplicity. So if you have this set, it's a beautiful idea for you. Um, and then we have this card, which was from Susan Walker. A uh, super cute birthday card from Susan. Got a balloon in there and a nice note. Thank you so much, Susan. And then more birthday wishes. This one is from Paula Rice. I, 
I tell you, I've been getting birthday cards still. Like I'm celebrating now into April. It's awesome. Um, this one is a fun fold. In fact, we did this um, uh, not that long ago. We did this fold. And that is um, from Paula Race. Beautiful card. And then here's another one with the Easter Lily. This one is from Cynthia Howard, another team member. Beautiful card from Cynthia. And then this one is super cool. It's a fun fold card. This came yesterday. This is from Barbara Reynolds. And check this out. Okay, I, I, I ruined it. It had a beautiful bow right here holding this flap down. And then I untied that and you open the flap. <laughs> When you reach the million dollar achievement, will the phrase found it be in there? Yeah. So when you when you hit your million dollars, you get to create a stamp set. Uh, it's the only time you ever get to create your own stamp set. So I have you guys are going to have to help me decide what the heck that's going to be. Um, you are positively the greatest. This has little pockets in it. How clever is that? And the pockets are envelopes. It looks like portions of envelopes. Are those three by three envelopes? We'll just measure here real quick. But what a clever idea, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. They're wider than that. They must be the, maybe they're the um, note card envelopes. It's super cute. It looks like they were just sealed and then cut in half maybe. Um, but really, really fun card. Love the fold. I love those fun folds. Okay, we got more here. This one I think just came today. This one is from Carol Helms. Beautiful card with the um, the hummingbird on it from the uh, Thoughtful Expressions uh, bundle and a lovely note inside. It's some pretty designer paper in there. Thank you so much. This is that same fold, isn't it? Um, was that the one where I did the card after the video? Um, here's the next card. This also, I think, came today or yesterday. Hang on. Let me grab those. Oh, no, that was a different one. Okay. I wanted to show you a card I made after a video that may, if you're not on Facebook, you maybe didn't get to see. Um, okay, this one is from my team member, Rachel Tessman. Um, uh, belated birthday greetings since we were uh, off at on stage together. Uh, beautiful. And she knew I was out of town right after we came back. Beautiful card from Rachel. And then, oh, here's another fun one. Another fun fold. This one is from Amanda Martin, another team member. Unfold. So we've got a window in the paper here and then some enjoy the sweeter things in life and it opens up like that. So super cute. Have a zesty birthday. Super cute card from Amanda. And to cut two more here. This one is another fun fold. This one is from Pat Frank, another team member. And it opens up like this and it's got this, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, a triple guess triple triangles on the inside how interesting is that super cool and then this one is from Nancy McBee another team member beautiful card love the bubble bath there with the daisy super super cute love it Nancy thank you so much and then um so this wasn't actually the card I was looking for, but this will do. Um, so in one of the past videos, um, I showed you this happy mail I got from our, my team member, Carol, um, <clears throat> Kelly Burkhart. And so we copied this layout. I wanted to let you know this um, sweetly scripted stamp set is back in stock now. Um, so we made this version together. And like Kelly, we use the artistic dies that are about to retire. So you can find this video on my channel. And then after the video ended, I made the same card with also with the perennial lavender paper um, or yeah, perennial lavender paper, but this time with um, the Lost Lagoon colors. And I used the other half. The artistic die is huge. It has the two flowers on it. So we cut it in half and we use the other half on this card. So um, just super fun. I was too lazy to do the inside, but <laughs> you get the drift. I'll do that when I finish it. So. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me tonight. Thanks for helping me design this card. I think we did good. I love it. I love that boho blue. And then um, I will do, um, I need to do a Lost Lagoon version of this, correct? 
but I also need to get our crafting and tutorial done. So that is uh, top of the list. All right, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I'm gonna, where's the camera button? <laughs> Let's see here, there we go. I got my more kitty wampus here. Thank you for hanging out with me as always. Appreciate your, your patience. We have fun though, don't we, right? Take care, have a great night and I'll see you next time. I'll be back Saturday night, 7.30 Central Time with another video adventure. See you then, bye-bye.